Hey guys, so today I am back in my kitchen and I know you're all probably thinking, has Andy turned into some sort of food blogger or something? The answer is no. I'm actually pretty terrible at cooking, probably couldn't do it to save a life to be honest. But today, together, we're going to try our hand at making some easy summer drinks. A juice, a cooler and a sorbet to be exact. Um, you might have heard me running on social media about how I've managed to catch like five colds in the space of six months, which is totally ridiculous. So I've been trying to boost uh, my immune system up and balance the acidity in my body. And I thought what better way to do this than by intaking all the uh, vitamins and fruits and vegetables by juicing. I recently got a slow juicer in, which is this Panasonic slow juicer. Um, if you don't already know what a slow juicer is, which was like me previously, it's basically the same thing as a cold press juicer. So it means that it squeezes out the juice out of the fruit and vegetables at a much lower temperature, preserving um, the nutrients that would otherwise get damaged by the heat. Which I guess is one of the best things about juicing, isn't it? Because you want to intake all the good vitamins without having to eat, like physically eat 10 whole pieces of fruit. Yeah, so if you don't have a slow juicer, you can always use your normal juicer or a Nutribullet or a blender, whatever you have at home. So let's get started. The first drink we're going to make is a strawberry cooler. You'll need 300 grams of strawberries, six mint leaves, two tablespoons of honey, the juice of one lemon, and the liter of cold sparkling water, which you can adjust accordingly to how diluted you want it. Start off by chopping the strawberries roughly, just so they'll fit in the tube of the juicer. Then squeeze the juice from the lemon. Place the strawberries in the juicer followed by the mint leaves. In a separate jug, scoop 2 tablespoons of honey and pour in the lemon juice, then stir everything together well. Finally, pour in the strawberry and mint juice, followed by the sparkling water and you're done. Feel free to add ice. Next up is a carrot, orange and ginger juice. This one as you can probably guess is great for combating colds or preventing them. You'll need 3 carrots, a thumb size of fresh ginger and 500 milliliters of orange juice. Freshly squeezed is better of course. Prep everything by peeling the carrots and squeezing the juice out of the oranges. Then basically just chuck all the ingredients in, not forgetting the ginger, and let the juicer do the work. This one actually tastes a lot yummier than I thought it would and might just be my favourite out of the three. And last but not least, I thought we'd try something fun and use the frozen function on this juicer to make a berry sorbet. All you need to do is actually just change the little ring around the blade. You'll need to freeze some berries first, so I've got some strawberries, blueberries and raspberries. And then again just chuck them all into the juicer and it, it should all come out all icy and nice. So I hope this video has given you some ideas on possible fruit combinations to try juicing at home. Um, if you're thinking of investing in a slow juicer, I'd highly recommend this one. As you can see, it works a treat and it's pretty user friendly, so it's great for tech noobs like me. I'll leave a link to it down in the description bar below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Got a slow juicer in. <coughs> All the... No! That's not the... <laughs> Hello.